I'm is going. Let's have a look at continuity. What do we define as continuous? A function f of x is continuous at x equals a if both of these conditions are met. Firstly, we have to have the function defined at that point. And secondly, the limit must exist at that point. What does it mean? So let's look at a non-example to see what continuous means. What is this continuous? So for this example here, we can sketch the graph where at x equals 3 or less than 3, we have x plus 2, this red line here. And because there's no equal sign, that dot is empty. And for x is greater than 3 or equal to 3, so the dot is filled, we have the line y equals 2. Now we can clearly see that there's a gap there. This is not continuous at x equals 3. But how do we explain this? We're going to look at these two points. We see that yes, the function is defined at 3 because the function at 3, y is equal to 2. But we can see that the limit doesn't exist. Remember in the previous video, what is the limit? The limit exists at a point if the left side and the right side approaches the same value. We can see that from the left side, we're approaching 5, and from the right side, we're approaching 3. So the limit does not exist. So one of these two things fails, so it is not continuous, or in other words, it's discontinuous. Example 2. Find if f of x is continuous at x equals minus 1 for this hybrid function. So all we have to do is prove whether these two things are true or not. If they're both true, then we are continuous. If one of them fails, we are discontinuous. I've chosen this example and I've written in this format and it's not my preferred format for a reason. So look at the top line here, x is greater than the value and the bottom line is x less than the value. I normally prefer writing x less than at the top, so we're reading from left to right or top to from top to bottom. But I've done this example this way because some of the textbooks and tests will have it written in this order, which is a little bit uh, odd to read, but it still is uh, valid. So let's answer the question, is it continuous or not? So first of all, we have to find the top line. Does it have a y coordinate at that point? So does the point even exist there? So for negative 1, we can see the equal sign is on the top line. So we evaluate for negative 1 using the top line. So plug in negative 1 for all the x and we obtain negative 3. So yes, the top thing is uh, ticked off. Let's do the second one. Does the limit exist? How do we do that? We look at the if there is a y value approaching there from the left and from the right. So, sorry, if there's a limit from the left and the right, and if they match, then we have a limit. So, from the left side, we write the limit of x approaching negative 1 to the negative, so we represent left. And for the right side, we write the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 with a little plus sign. So, for the, from the left side, now the left side is where x is less than that, we use this line here for the plus sign from the right side, x is greater than negative 1, we are using the top line. So see the top line usually would be on the left, but um, because of the order of this hybrid function, we have to put it over there and we have to be very careful. So always read the domain, x greater than, then it's a positive side. So we sub that in, so negative 1 into all that, and we have negative 3. And for the left side, we're using this, so sub that in and we get negative 3. So the left limit and the right limit are the same, so they have, um, so the left and right is the same, so we have a limit, sorry about the order, so we have a limit and the limit is negative 3, and as we said before, the function exists there, so therefore we can say that the function is continuous. Um, so we can see the graph shows us that that point there is also continuous. See, there's no gaps. Example three, state the values for x for which the function is discontinuous. Before we even answer this question, let's see our prediction. We can see that the graph here is continuous except for this hole over here. There's a value of three at x equals one, but it's not continuous there. So we can see that it is discontinuous at one, but how do we prove that? We're going to use these two things. As long as one of them fails, then we have shown that 
it is discontinuous. So at one, we can see that the y value is three. So f of one equals three. So the top line exists, but the limit as x approaches one from the left side is obviously two. And as x approaches from the right side, it's also two. So the left and right limit exists and it is two. So does the limit equal to what the y value is supposed to be? See, that's what it's saying in the second sentence. Does the, the limit should equal to what the y value is at that point. And no, it doesn't because the limit is equal to two, but the y value is equal to three of there. They don't match. Therefore, we say that it's discontinuous. Okay, thank you for watching. And remember, we can prove that something's conti continuous if it exists at that point and that value matches with the limit approaching that point. So a value exists at that point, so the first point, and the value at that point, the y value, matches that of the limit. Okay, thank you for watching. Revise, and I'll see you next time. Bye.